M0 FXB Hamtech, welcome back to the channel. I'm with M6 LSJ and we're using the 8-in-1 cable to load the firmware on our TID radio H3. So this is what it looks like. They're about £15 and uh, it's, it's definitely worked on the H3 radio. So I'm using TID Station by Marcus at Nick Shaw. You can see it here. So to do the firmware, we've got the cable connected. We right click on our device manager. Like so. Double click ports and we'll COM8, okay? It says there COM8, USB reader COM8 under ports. Close that down. Go to, on the top here of, of the TID station, go to the lightning bolt on the right, okay? And then the you're gonna to need to get your firmware download. So here's the place to download the firmware and the latest one ends in 30. The, num the full number is, Full number is 240530 and it adds the dimmer feature, which we'll have a look at, see if we can find it in a sec. So at the TID dock, like I said, you go to the lightning bolt, browse, and then select that bin. Look, you know, it'll go to the folder, find that bin file that you just downloaded from TID radio. To get the file, you just click download from their website. Just here, they do make you log in, but it also gives you the programming software. So double click, and we've got the file in place. Then the COM, remember COM8, and we turn off the RAID. Now we've just done this and it's worked. See the green bar? We'll do it again anyway. Um, so live life dangerously. Turn it off. And the cable's connected. It's the twin pin cable we've used. Uh, I will test it with the USB-C just to see if that works. We're going to go start and then PTT, hold the PTT and turn it on. And you can see it's working straight away. Big thanks to M6LSJ for helping me on this one, like he always does. Right, so that's great. So we know that's worked. So what I'm gonna do now is just quickly see if the USB-C cable will do it. Because I, I don't know if it will or won't, yeah? But it'd be nice to know. So I'm gonna plug it in, USB-C cable going in, check the COM port number, see if, if that's changed. So USB-C is in the right of the radio, I hear it make a beep noise right click device manager uh, go to comms again ports on the left here and it's given us or it's unplug I'm gonna unplug my 8-in-1 cable uh, so it's com 15 that's left so we go just quickly go com 15 here and do exactly the same thing we'll turn off the radio we're gonna click start, like so. It does give me an error straight away, but we'll still try it. Welcome. Yeah, it doesn't, I don't think it works with C. I'll just try one more time. And I think it's in the instructions that it doesn't, but let's just try it. COM15, click start, radio's off. Just blipping around here, just to make sure. Click start. Yeah, it's not gonna, it, it doesn't work for me, COM15, but it did on the normal, the twin pin cable connector. Thanks for watching, bye for now, all the best, 7.3. And you know, just check out this software. You fully control the radio, and you can do that with COM15. Um, as you can see here, just select the COM, and you can start fully controlling the radio. Bye for now, 7.3, all the best.